What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Tiny Rails. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we have apparently a conversation that needs to be had. You were busy while you were gone. You earned zero dollars. Okay. Apparently we traveled 15 miles. I guess the game kind of plays itself while you're not playing. I get the feeling that this game was intended to be a phone app and then it just kind of turned into a PC game. It might be a phone app as it stands right now. I really have no idea, but you can't... You can tell that there are little remnants, but as far as it goes, they've turned it into like a playable PC experience where you don't have to wait for anything or pay for microtransactions or anything like that. However, you can see the holes and the gaps where the transactions might be if it were a phone game. I don't know. We'll see what's going to go on for right now. Welcome on back. We're on our way to Philadelphia right now. On our way out to Philly. Got family in Philly. Never been able to make it out to Philly to visit, but I do have family in Philly. It's on the wife's side of the family, though. Not on my side of the family. We don't have anybody on the East Coast, as far as I know, on my side of the family. I mean, we got some people down in Georgia, but they're kind of estranged. We don't hang out with them. We got, we got, like, family down in Atlanta, but in general, you know, family drama and how it goes. Not really welcome at my dad's house anymore, you feel me? It's that kind of situation where we just don't even talk about that part of the family. We're like, mm, nah, we're good. Let's get paid out. Uh, we got a little bit of cash coming in right now. You got about $1,000, looking pretty good. No money inside the uh, Old West food car war chest at the moment. Anything of decent price here in Philly? No, Philly's prices are actually a little bit high right now. We've got nothing to play around with. So the big choice that we have right now is we can either play around with various upgrades to our train so we can increase our max cargo. Uh, we could be able to increase our weight, our vault, or anything like that. Frankly, speed is the one that I've been pumping all my points into because I just like being able to get between point A and point B a lot faster. Uh, current cap is looking like meh. Current eh, passengers is a way to make more money, I guess. Max vault is probably a decent idea, too, now that we're carrying a lot more passengers in between locations. So maybe I'll upgrade that a couple of times, and then we'll put the rest into max speed. We can get up to, like, almost 51 miles an hour now. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, we're on our way down to Dover. I think we're heading back down south, I think, to Trenton, New Jersey right now so that we could check out what was a little bit inland if we go to our map. Yeah, there was something happening in Baltimore right now, so we're going to swing out to Baltimore and see how that works for us. we got two more stops left to go. Hop on in with me. It's time to play a little bit of Tiny Rails with Splooter Katzes. Let's go. We've got 98 miles until we make it to where we want to go. You know, travel, some people say travel's a curse. I've said that travel's a curse, depending on how the travel is particularly going at the moment. But travel, I think, is important. I think travel is kind of the, I don't know, it's like a panacea to ignorance, man. You travel around a little bit, and you start to meet more people, get different perspectives, and travel can be tremendously therapeutic to one's world outlook. Start to realize other people going through shit the same way you're going through shit. Other cities got problems, other cities got things going on, other cities have good things, other people have blessings going on. That kind of stuff is, it's good for your life, I think. I think it makes you, oh, Doom! Doom! Apparently they are discussing the awesomeness that is Doom. I didn't have Doom when I was a kid. Didn't have Doom because my parents were hardcore Christian, like, it's the closest thing to, like, Mennonites, but not quite. Like, that's the way that I would describe it. We went to church, like, four times a week. Uh, we went to special schools that, like, only people that, like, were part of, like, the group went to. Stuff like that. And so anyways, we didn't have Doom because it had like devils and like pentagrams and stuff inside of it. Which is kind of strange because like there was like lines drawn. You know, it wasn't like any and all magic. It was just stuff with like, we had Wolfenstein. So apparently slaughtering Nazis who also, I mean, episode two, the entire part of the entire point of episode two, if you've ever played Wolfenstein episode two, is you go into like the Nazi. It's like their occult research place where they're creating zombies with handguns mounted in their chests and all kinds of other random crazy shit. And so, are we collecting cash right now? Is that back up and open? Oh yeah, the cafe bar is functioning right now. We can get paid out a little bit right there. Good. And so now we actually have two revenue streams on top of our train. I think it's going to work out pretty well for us right now. We're about 10 miles outside of Dover, but yeah, I was allowed to play Wolfenstein. We had all six episodes of Wolfenstein, where you had like the first episode, I think Hans Grasse was the bad guy. And then the second episode, you had the dude that was making the, what the hell is that? Is that a gorilla holding like a package of beef jerky? Miles the Monster. Is that a real thing? I'm about to Google some of this stuff after I get out of here. I don't know if it's a real thing, but hey, we get paid for looking at it, so we might as well. Where's my... I gotta get my payout for Miles the Monster, homie. There it is. Miles the Monster. Oh, you... Got that. Can we go to other... Is this America only, or can we go over to, like, Europe? Holy shit, we can go over to Europe, too. Oh my god, it's the entire world. That's pretty sweet. Man, this game's kind of expansive right now. This is a game that you could, like, sink some serious money into if you really want to. 
Eh, TP's got shitty prices right now. I don't really care about it. Yes, pun intended. As per, I feel like puns are most of the time intended. And if you have to say pun not intended, it kind of gives me the idea that, like, tacitly, you kind of were in on that pun, but you're trying to play it off like, ooh, I'm better than puns. None of us are better than puns. We do puns. It is what it is. It's a cultural, it's a cultural staple. We make puns. It's what we do. A uh, big old flag out here right now. We will go out to, yeah, we're going down to Baltimore as of right now to see what's going on with whatever the hell that purple thing is. So let's go! Off to Baltimore, it's 93 miles away. I'm gonna check the passenger manifest, kind of see what's going on. It seems like a lot of people are headed south, although we still do have people that want to go out to like... It looks like we've definitely got people like John Romero, for example, wants to go up to New York. Uh, Carmack, so that's John Carmack, he was also involved with Wolfenstein and Doom. Uh, he's headed out to somewhere, I don't know who Justin is. Justin, kind of a generic name, I'm gonna need a little bit more than that. We got J. Jonah Jameson over here, we've got Meg Han, which is a pretty, pretty common name, Meg Han! It's a, it's a warrior name, it's a warrior lady name. Doesn't get used too much anymore, I dated a Megan for a while. That's kind of on my list of names of like women I just won't date anymore. Like it might sound a little bit, it might sound unfair. Well, you know, all you need is like, so for example, like anybody named Tiffany, for example, just like nah. Anybody named Megan, nah. Just automatically off the list, too many bad experiences. Who else is on that list right there? Hmm, Ashley. Ashley's definitely on the list too, I think. I think Ashley makes the list. Ashley's kind of on the edge of the list, but I'm pretty sure Ashley's on the list. Lance has lined up a great opportunity for us that could be just what we need to make our mark in USA East. A souvenir company needs to hold some collectibles to Washington DC for them. If we do a good job, there are other contracts waiting to roll in. Let's go. Okay, like why? I thought I own the company now, so like why do you still have a say? It's just a question that I want to throw out there. I'm feeling like my ownership and my authority is being usurped right now. It's being usurped. As Michael Scott put it, you are you slurping my authority. Uh, we've got a job here, and so quest complete. What quest was completed? Oh, cool. We stopped in Baltimore. All right, so does that go up on the jobs board? Is that where the thing is? Like, it says that we've got a contract out here. Oh, it just wants me to go to Washington, D.C. That is the contract. Okay. Well, let's go out to Washington, D.C. then, I guess. The game knows best what I should be doing right now. Let's haul on out. We got stuff to do, money to make, and things to see. Obviously, there's probably going to be something like the Washington Monument or something that we can take a picture of in Washington, D.C. and make a little bit more money that way, too. Sitting on top of $1,000 right now. I'm going to keep on. Okay, so we've got max speed maxed out right now. So we are max speed at the moment. Uh, other things, we can throw in a little bit more cargo space, I guess, since we haven't put any points into that. And then let's gumball it up for, oh, we're actually out of roll cars right now. So we got to save up a little bit of money to get the engine and the caboose, which I'm guessing are going to match up with the gingerbread over here. That's just my thought, is that maybe the gingerbread car is going to be the next thing on the list. Washington, D.C. actually isn't that far away. I was getting all ready to, like, make a fat cut right here because this is one of those series that you definitely need to edit as you go in between locations. And actually, it looks like Washington's not that far out. Hopefully, we got enough people on board. Going to Washington to make us some decent money. Headed on down to Richmond for a lot of these people, too. So we've got a dog that apparently needs to go to Washington. We've got Ali. Short Round is over here. Uh, we've got Magnum, who's headed out to Washington, D.C. I think it's supposed to be Magnum P.I. or something like that. Lots of people going south, which is a good thing. We've got Carrie Fisher on board right now. I do like the little Easter eggs and random celebrities and stuff they put on your train. That's pretty cool. So the quest is done. Delivery complete. The folks at the White House gift shop bumbled one out of Lincoln Bobbleheads. The tipping company was really a breath, and they're already spreading the word. Well done. Okay, so that's all nice and finished off. Sounds good to me. We've made a pretty sizable grip of cash on our way over. Actually, not as much as I thought, frankly. I thought we made more money on the way, but I guess not. Made a little bit of money right there, but nothing that's going to get us into any shiny new rail cars. Five onions on that side. Really, I, I don't know. They sell for 11 normally, so 9. At best, we're going to make like 5 off of each one, which means we make 25 gold, which is like nothing. Probably add up over the long term, but for right now, it's just not something that I'm willing to invest a ton of time into. Uh, what else is going on down here? Uh, secrets are fun, hidden Easter eggs to explore and collect in the game. Okay, so I guess there are secrets around. Maybe things that I click along the way, like the birds. Like, I Hello, little bird. How are you? Are you feeling good? Can I click the flag? For patriotism. 
Well, I suppose we'll go out to Richmond, Virginia then. The game seems to be implying that I should go out to Richmond by the ridiculous amount of people I have right now that are on their way out to Virginia. So we've got West Virginia in there too. We got Charleston. We've got North Carolina in there. There are a number. There's Ezio is on board. Apparently he's dressed up as like a normal. He, he's not dressed up like an ass assassino. Assassino. He's not an assassino right now. Uh, we've also got Dudley Do Right over here. We got a Mountie for whoever, whatever reason, wants to go to Connecticut. Why are you wearing your law enforcement uniform though? So what's the difference between like a Mountie? And like a, so what's the difference between a Mountie and like a normal Canadian cop? Are Mounties like provincials? They're out there like doing like, they're like, are they like state police essentially? Or are they like provincial police? So they're like the sheriff's department? Like how does that work? Like how does that play out? Canadians, you got to fill me in, in the mystical lore of your Canadian people. They do have dope outfits. I ain't gonna lie, it's the shoulder leather strap. Any outfit that has a leather strap that goes over your shoulder ends up looking doper than the outfit was previously. That's got to be what it is. They've also got the boots, man. They got them shiny ass boots that you got to keep all polished up. Keep them shining and be like, ah, I'm blind from the gleam of your boots. Arrest me now, noble Mountie. Or like the Mounties, like, uh, are they like marshals? Like they can go over like state lines or whatever. Dude, being a marshal would be a dope ass job where you can like, you like hunt, you know, you like chase people across lines and stuff like that. There are no boundaries to what I can do. Don't tell me my job, Commissioner. Why am I losing money sometimes? It looks like the money go up, then the money go down. That don't give me smiles, it gives me a big frown. Gives me a frowny face. An emoji frowny face. Carrie Fisher is upset with us. I'm not sh super sure. Yeah, like, see, maybe it calculates the money and then subtracts it or something, I don't know. Easter egg, can I clip on? Nope, I can't get the Firewatch building right there, unfortunately. I'm wondering what the Easter eggs are going to be. I'm curious. I want to know what the Easter eggs are. Like, are there things in the trees that I can click? Or, like, in the bushes? Or, like, on the bridges? Or, like, the log cabins? Okay, pulling into Richmond, Virginia right now. Hopefully we find something interesting here. We're getting towards the end of the operating hours for all of our little trolleys and carts and whatnot. But we do have enough money to unlock ourselves a caboose and or an engine. So I think we'll be checking that out today because the engine is obviously... Kind of the rock store of the whole operation. The caboose, though, the caboose, though, the ass end of our great rail snail is our rail snake. I don't know. We got to come up with some kind of nickname for trains. I don't know. Let me know what you get down in the comments. We made a little bit of money right there, so that's good. That's going to pop us on up to $1,500. A little bit of money being spent down there. We got any high market items right now? We got strawberries, but not really enough volume of them to make it worth it. Let's hop on in, and I think we're going to get ourselves a new engine. Let's do this thing. Oh, we got a steam engine. Plus two gold at stations if using the steam caboose. Okay. Gaben's caboose, as it were. Now, we don't have the matching engine for right now, and so we're going to hold off on that. Let me take a look at my passenger manifest, and we'll try to figure out where it is that we need to go. We got people that want to go to New York City. We got a number of people that want to go to North Carolina, West Virginia. I mean... That's cool and all. I don't know why you would jump on a train down here to go to New York, though. That's a long-ass way. Just fly, dude. Just fly. It'll make, your, it'll make your life easier. Let's take a look at our journal over here and see if there's anything I'm supposed to be doing. So I got to go to Columbus, Ohio is where they want me to go next. Well, I'll pick up who I'm going to pick up, and I guess we'll go to Columbus. Uh, Columbus is over here, so let's set a waypoint. Whatever's going to be fastest to get to Columbus. This is a factory location. Meet the resource demands and production starts for a unique car. Oh, cool. Do I know what the production is? I want unique cars. I want cars that you can't get anywhere else because I like collecting things and it's fun to me. Let's be on our way. 145 miles to Raleigh. That's quite a decent haul right there. If we can get it to 50 miles, it's going to take us a couple hours to get there. We'll pull in, looks like around, oh, I don't know, 9 o'clock is looking like what our drop time is going to be over here. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and clean the cars up and then I'll see you when we arrive. Well, we're sitting at about 75 miles outside of Raleigh right now. I've never actually been to the South. The only thing I've ever done in the South is I was actually like, I got stuck in Atlanta on a layover for like a couple of hours, like four or five hours in the airport, but I didn't really go anywhere or anything like that. I also got stuck in Seattle for a while when I was flying in between locations. For whatever reason, when I flew out to Boston, it connected in Seattle. I'm not sure why we couldn't just go like overland. Like you'd figure you'd be able to go from like California to like Colorado to New York or from California to like Ohio to New York or something like that. But we went up to Seattle first. 
I don't know, they changed the flight. Originally, it was a straight through. I specifically booked it. And then, like, a month after I booked the flight, they were like, hey, we're going up to Seattle now. And I was like, that's... It added, like, two hours onto my flight. I actually was not super happy about that. It kind of sucks that they can just do that to your ticket. Like, you ever, like, realize that they can just, like, do that? Like, you book a specific flight, and then, like, a month later, they go, oh, actually, we're going to change your layover, and it's going to go completely the wrong way to New York. And we're just going to do that now. And I'm like, are you... That kind of sucks, man, because I paid you money for, like, the thing. It's no wonder airlines are one of the most hated businesses in America, like, next to Comcast and, you know, I don't know, McDonald's or something. Like, I don't really mind McDonald's anymore. Like, McDonald's had a phase where I avoided it, but, I mean, McDonald's is fine as any other fast food right now. In general, I've weaned myself off fast food. I go months without eating fast food now. In all honesty, I think I had Jack in the Box for the first time in, like, two or three months, like, a week ago, just because I had, like, a weird craving for a bacon ultimate cheeseburger. Like a random craving for it. I was like, I really want a bacon ultimate. Ooh, these people are not happy. That was not the payout that I was looking for right there. That wasn't even worth it. But it should be enough to get us into our caboose. So we'll go ahead and get our steam caboose. So there it is. Just in case, you know, you ever want Valve to take care of your business operations on a train. It's doable. Ah, uh, we've leveled up. Hell yeah. Is it possible for me to level up any of my trains yet? Do I have... So how do you get the train level ups? We don't have any level ups available, but I'm like curious. So with the steam caboose, we can actually bring more passengers along. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I would rather have the passenger bonus because we're not carrying freight anyways. We haven't seen anything at a low enough margin to get me excited yet. Those strawberries are pretty cheap, he said as he took those strawberries. That sounds good. Steel's sitting at like a normal price. I mean, I suppose I could load up on stuff that like... It wanted me to go to Ohio? Is that what it was? Oh, well, we're already on our way. I think we're on our way out to Ohio. Are we? Yeah, we're going to Columbus right now. For some reason, I was thinking we were going to Maryland or something like that. I don't know. Sometimes I get weird thoughts in my head. I usually try to suppress that. But unfortunately, the internet has that additive effect of just kind of like exacerbating weird thoughts that you have. You have like a weird thought, and then you Google it, and you're like, oh my god, tons of other people have had this weird thought. Crazy. Great minds think alike. Either that or perverted, disgusting minds think alike. I'm not really sure. There's some weird, whack shit out there on the internet. And all you gotta do is start clicking around on random subreddits. And you'll find it quick enough. Just going through comment sections, you'll be like, Oh my god, what the hell is this? Oh shit, you can click on the planes. Like these planes right here, you can click on them and you get stuff. Crazy! I was totally not expecting that to work. So, you know, click on planes, apparently, inside your, inside your game and you'll get $50. Hey, you can even click on the helicopters. Yay! So basically the general feeling that I'm getting here is if it flies, you click on it. Oh shit! You can click on the front of the plane, or we clicked on the front of the train, and we just went hyperspeed, dude! Can I do that whenever I want? What? I can click on the front of the train and it'll go super fast? That was probably in one of those tutorial things that I didn't read because I don't really care about tutorials. Yeah, buddy, push this thing up to I wonder if that hurts my maintenance or anything. Makes my cars fall apart or so I think it does. I think it makes your cars fall apart. <laughs> but it's so awesome and it's so fun. And we get paid $50 to do it. We found th three secrets. I wonder where the other secrets are at. Yeah, I figure this, does the caboose do anything? Let's find out. Does it have like a little toot toot right there? No, it doesn't have a toot toot. Never mind. Hmm. Our booty car unfortunately does not have toot toots. There's a cabin back there. Can I click on a cabin? Can't really see the cabin in the background so I doubt it. I tried clicking on the stars and a whole bunch of the other stuff that's in the background too and it didn't work out. Uh, they wanted to... The entire Doom staff thought we were going up to New York. We are not going up to New York. We are in West Virginia right now and they don't seem to have caught on. Like, I was hoping they would, but they're kind of far out of the way now, stranded in West Virginia with no resources and nobody to come pick them up. He's John Romero though, he's worth like a bazillion dollars. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a game designer because I saw that was what did it. I saw pictures of John Romero sitting next to a Lambo with, like, his heavy metal hair and, like, leather pants and, like, the big fluffy, like, heavy metal shirt. And I was like, that is the cool... As an eight-year-old, this is the coolest shit I've ever seen in my life. I aspire to be this. Clicking on skyscrapers, do they do anything? Skyscrapers, do you let me click you? No! No, they don't. That building looked unique back there, but it didn't let me take a picture of it, so I guess it's not, like, important. I guess it's not, like, a standout thing that I needed to know about right now. But into Charleston we go. Mm, a couple miles left until we get this long haul done. We are going to make Ohio in this episode. I'll tell you that much. Right near. Right near. 
We're gonna make it up to we're gonna make it up to Ohio. It's gonna happen. Can I click on the flag? No, there's no clicking on the flag. I think I tried that already though. Pretty sure I tried that already. How much money did we make here? Did we get paid? Actually, a bunch of people paid us when we got into Charleston, so that sounds good to me. Do the Charleston. Now uh, we've got strawberry profits right now. I am the strawberry prophet. Worst prophet ever. Next season, your strawberries, they will be mushy and smell kind of farty. Like, no, not farty strawberries. What kind of cars do we get in here? Can I buy a couple of cars? Cars that drop bars and slap hard in the yard. Ooh, an arcade car. Entertainment at night. Ooh, I like arcade games. I kind of want this. I'm going to put it on my vehicle because I think that gamer car is where it's at. Gamer car is going to be what's up. A bohemian car. Okay, so it carries passengers, it has cargo, it gives entertainment, comfort, and food. A bohemian car. Sure. Why not? Let's go ahead and rearrange. Now that I'm up to level 3, can I get an extra car? Yay! We can have an extra car in our operation for right now. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. We can also upgrade our speed, which is one of those things that I always raise an eyebrow, and I'm like, I would like to do that. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of this car right here. We'll get rid of you. And instead, we'll put in a game car right there so that at night we earn money, too. I suppose at stations, we can swap these cars out and use the most efficient ones for whatever we're doing. And then comfort sounds really good. So what I'll do is we'll put in a behemian... Oh, no. Too much weight on the train. It is encumbered. It moves at half. Okay, so we'll increase train weight or something. Let's go to our... I don't know if we have enough money, but we will increase our weight. Maybe that'll help out. Does that get us there? What's our weight looking like right now? Do we have enough weight? We're at 38 right now. 105%. So we'll have to take a car off in order to make this work. Well, you don't provide, like, anything, so you go away, yellow car. You go away for right now. Actually, we can get rid of... It's kind of redundant to have the park car in here if we don't have anything else going on. How much do these weigh right here? Does the outhouse car weigh too much? Hey, we're right at 99%. Perfect efficiency. Hell yeah. Was there anything in the market that we wanted? I'm going to wait for better prices, and let's get out to Ohio, because I promised you, I promised you we would make Ohio. So let's go. Let's do it. Let's get this thing done. Let's get doo-doo dumb on this train. Oh, it goes from, like, lunchtime up to 3 a.m. That's pretty good. That covers a pretty good chunk of the day, so I'll take it. I clicked on the sun, and the world went dark. I think I may have accidentally summoned Chernabog. I don't know. I clicked it, and yeah, we have summoned darkness onto the plane of man. My bad. I always knew it was the locomotive industry that was going to be responsible for this. We've killed the universe, man. We've killed the universe. We just couldn't help it. We just couldn't help it. We live in a world of darkness and despair, and frankly, we need a god that represents our interests right now. Someone that can just take that up to the next level and be like, yes, this is just fine. Let's not complain about this at all. I mean, we're on our way out to Ohio. I suppose the sun going down and darkness descending upon the earth just kind of comes with the territory. So apparently here in Ohio, we've been asked to transport some auto parts to Detroit. Lance says offers are starting to roll in. If we keep this up, we'll be able to go to the south in no time. I kind of count Virginia as like getting towards the south. I don't know. They said we don't have USA South yet, but I kind of consider Virginia and like the Carolinas to be south. And I think we had people that were... Wanting us to go out to the south? I don't know. Virginians? Carolinians? Do you count yourself as southerners? To me, mentally, I kind of do, but maybe that's a wrong synopsis. I don't know. We've got rare cars, VIP passengers, so that's pretty cool. We've got a whole bunch of stuff we can collect here. It wants us to go on up to Detroit. And so, ah, there's some profits that I'm happy to see. So we'll go ahead and we will take this on over and make our 50-something dollars. We will take that on over and make our $33, I guess. We've got honey over here. Apparently in Ohio, they produce honey. Who knew? I don't know if this is accurate or if it's just like a thing that's in the game. Let's bounce on out to Detroit. It's time for us to... I mean, Detroit's a short stop right away over there. I mean, it's going to be a long ride. But I think if we can make Detroit, it's going to be... I should have swapped out the game cart for the cafe cart. Or I'm sorry, for the food cart. Oh, we have 30 people on board right now. Damn, son. Did I collect my money back here? I had $450 in the back of the tank. Well, shit, let's spend... I mean, we got a bunch of stuff to do anyways. Let's unlock some new cars. Let's do this thing. I clicked on the wrong thing. Gumball machine. What you got for me? Let's get a roll car over here. Roll car! Shibuya. Yeah, yeah. Shibuya roll car. An Old West outhouse. I wonder if there's like a set bonus to getting your entire thing like thematically lined up. 
I'd like to think that there is, but I bet there isn't. We've got a coal car right there, rolling literal coal all over the place. Apparently the secret is that I can crack this thing right here. I didn't even mean to click it. Can I do the little... Apparently even the UI has secret Easter eggs inside of it. A silver food car. If we have a silver engine and caboose, yeah, it does look like it lines up and does perk things. If I go back over to that outhouse, I'll check it and just... Oh, we got all the roll cars. So that's pretty much everything out of the... It looks like we can also knock the eggs out of the way. If you click on them, it like jumbles them, or maybe that's happening because the train is going over. No, it's definitely me doing it. Can I rotate this thing? Can I mess with the flipper and check it for like free coins and stuff that got returned? 30 coins inside of there, and this is going to be starting up pretty soon. Oh, it's 12 o'clock, so it's actually accumulating cash already. Good. So we've got two things that are generating cash for us right now. Awesome, and that killed like 60 miles of our trip, I suppose. Bones? Who's talking about bones up in here? This is a no-bone zone. That is not... Except, who's that? Who's talking about bones right now? Ali is talking about bones. Why are you talking about bones, Ali? Like, why are you boning up right now in the middle of my train? Some things are just not socially acceptable. I wanted to click on the outhouse cars and see if the door would flip open and there'd be, like, a little guy pooping in there that's like, No! And, like, pulls the door back shut, but... That's how you know it's not a game that was made by Splattercat, because if it was a game made by Splattercat, you would definitely be able to click on the door, and it would open, and there'd be a little guy pooping inside of there. And he'd be like, ah! And he'd have like a little exclamation point above his head as he pulled the door back shut. Because nothing's funnier than guys pooping. That's just the world that I live in right now. If guys can't poop, how can we have normal humor? It looks like the vast majority of the people riding with us right now are either going to Detroit, or they're going to Toledo. So we'll probably want to hit Toledo right after this, because there are a lot of people going out to Toledo. We should probably take care of that. Like, there's a ton of people going to Toledo right now. Holy Toledo. Who's that over there? Drinking a mojito. Ooh. It's an E-40 song. I don't know how, like, familiar you guys are with Bay Area rap, but that's an E-40 line. All up in the club in Holy Toledo. Who's that over there? Drinking a mojito. And then it echoes. It goes, mojito, to, to, to. <laughs> God. Hyphy rap, man. Hyphy rap is... It's special. It's different. I can't click the little birdie. Auto parts delivered. I hate to say it, but train controls aren't responding. What should we do? Somebody call a mechanic. Sophia is here. Thank goodness. That's such a relief. How could you possibly know we needed help? My mechanic things with tingling. Chica, get me a minute to see what's wrong here. And there's your problem. Let me just adjust this and tighten this bolt over here. That bam. Got that train on down now. Finished. Uh. Thanks very much. We appreciate it. So, she has says we have a nice vehicle, and she's going to join our service. What does she do? I don't even care about her dialogue. I just want to know what she does. Uh, she does passive service. So, she has to reach... Oh, we actually have to level these guys up. Damn it. Well, fine then. Yeah, let's go ahead and... I suppose I'll... Turn on all of these so these guys can level up and we can get their new... Although, they just get JP from us doing stuff, right? Like, and that's going to be in our jobs list, so technically we don't really have a lot of jobs right now. Hey, 300 bucks for making it out to here. They want us to go back to Boston. Uh, I don't know if we're going to go back up to Boston right now. I don't know if that's like a thing that we're going to do right now. Uh, don't think that's going to be, don't think that's going to be the job that we're going to take up there. Instead at the market, what do we have? They're giving us a little bit of honey right there. But I don't think I'm going to go after that. Instead, let's just try to make sure that... What do I have in my jobs listing? So I got my logbook. Take a look in here. Help a farmer make it to four county fair. Let's go ahead and refresh the job board. We have money. Clear the track of trees. Yup. Make the train go faster than 137 miles an hour. We can fix the books in 20 cities. We can buy a wood cargo. That sounds good. And then we can also earn gold from passengers in Europe. I don't think we're going to be going to Europe very soon. I don't think there's going to be like any ba -da 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 action going on at the moment. So... I think I'll stop right here. My name is Splattercat. Thanks for stopping in. This is Tiny Rails. I will see you all next time. Get the game down below. And uh, if you got time, check out the Patreon. It's a great way to support me as I go about my business here on the interwebses. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Farewell, everybody. Goodbye.